Hey, what's going on guys? J Flesh Tanks. Give me a quick update of the fish room and my plans or plan of action. Uh, as you can see, I've kind of aquascaped this tank, substrated it, planted it. No fish in this one as of right now. It's a 40 breeder. And what I've decided to do down here is I I totally get why people do bare bottoms and minimal plants when they're like breeding fish and stuff. And I'm breeding some fish and I'm having fun messing around doing some live bears, but I I hate not having the tank look uh, respectable planted. I'd much rather have them all planted and looking real nice. So uh, that's that's the plan. So I'll I'll show you all the other tanks. Uh, this is the only one that I've gotten to so far. I just planted it uh, probably about an hour ago. Substrated it a couple days ago. So this is uh, 140 breeder right here. So. Now, now I show you some uh, some not so pleasant looking tanks. Uh, 29 gallon shell dwellers. This is going to be the next one on the list. I'll try to get to this one tomorrow afternoon. I will uh, I will probably rip out all the plants and just do a real nice uh, rockscape with the shells uh, towards the front of the tank. So that's the plan on this 29. Uh, so that'll be, you know, this one down here was the first one to get it. This one will be the second one. After this rack of tens right here. Uh, this ten, nothing in it. This ten has uh, the uh, sore tail. In them. They're getting ready to blow again. That one down there is just, I mean, I'm assuming tomorrow I'll have a bunch of fry to catch. So there's still a few in there that I couldn't get out on the original batch. This one, uh, still some inler fry that I haven't got out and moved into the other 40 breeder. I'll show you here in a second. Some uh, bushy nose pleco, really, real small one. Uh, the fry from the original batch of sword tails, uh, and there's some really cool ones. Some that almost look uh, koi, uh, koi sword tail look, uh, like the one in the back. If you could see it back there, so uh, that's definitely the, the keepers. There's there's some ones that are getting some decent size, so. But all of them, like I said, I got a bunch of substrate. I still got to wash. All these will be substrated and then uh, aquascaped and planted eventually. Uh, here with hopefully month, six weeks, I'll have all of them aquascaped and planted. And I'll, as I do one at a time, I'll show you as I go. Uh, 40 breeder with my son's convict fry that we picked up. That we saved their lives. Uh, psh, they're in there. They're, they're definitely visible now uh, water spots uh, right there so he's having a good time watching them grow it's a fun little project so super easy fish and good little starter fish for him to watch kind of do their thing grow up breed and do it again so down there the inlers there's a, probably about 50 inlers in there now um, just that one will get aquascaped. Like I said, they, I just can't stand the, uh, the. I mean, the water parameters are great, but I'd rather have good water parameters and a, a good looking tank to look at as well. I found that out so, kind of the hard way. Uh, these four tens will get aquascaped eventually. They're last on the list because they're not even filled with water. Uh, stock tank is doing good. Haven't hung the light yet. There's six adult. Bushy nose plecos, two males, four females. I'm sure there's a bunch of babies in there. And then there's some uh, guppies that I just tossed in there to kind of let them run around. But the duckweed is taking over like crazy. So tomorrow's water change day. So I should have probably did this after I did the water change uh, so you can see what's going on. And then, like I said, the reef tank was going to get, or the uh, fish only tank was going to get put in down here. And I finally got that rolling. Uh, lights are dimming so I will show you this tank in another video but uh, as you can see there's a couple of the occupants right there I've, I've had these guys for about oh god two and a half months three months growing out in a smaller tank and they've been getting along real well um, eating a good diet and I still got a lot of equipment to put on this, and I'll review some of the equipment that I have on this, as you guys see my thumb. Uh, what do I got? I got the Orbit Marine LED, which does, it was growing corals, because I had corals in with these guys, too, so uh, what else do I got? I still got it. I'll show you the, the filter uh, down here. Uh, I got 
got uh, probably about 100 pounds of live rock jammed in, in here. Uh, real beefy skim, uh, eShop skimmer, I gotta get the lid on there, and just a return pump. And there's some uh, Chainomorphous somewhere mixed in here. Uh, that's in there. So the thing is, I gotta adjust the skimmer. It's, it's skimming uh, not the way I want it to right now. Uh, but I still have a lot of top off. I still gotta hook up to it. Auto top off and a uh, real nice wave maker. But I will show you guys and review those. But he, he's so cool. I'm a trigger. Super cool fish. So there's a few more guys that uh, are in there, and I'll get I'll get this tank when the lights are on and we don't have massive glare from the uh, all the other tanks down here. So. But that's, that's the plan, guys. All the freshwater stuff will be aquascaped and look real good and nice. Uh, all that stuff's getting aquascaped. Buckets. Got to have buckets, guys. And uh, that's that, guys. If you have any questions, uh, hit me up. Later.